This is without a doubt my favorite purchase of the week. Right guys, so I've just had this uh, Land Rover Defender 110 arrive as a bit of stock and I was just, I just had it cleaned. I was just getting some photos of it for the website and I thought I need to do a video on this because I was wandering around it. I was seeing things like the snorkel, the fact is, you know, it's got like crystal head, like it just looks cool, doesn't it? In this video, we're going to be doing all the usual stuff, uh, looking over it, talking about the history of Land Rover, talking about the car vertical jacks. I do want to do one of them as well. And we are going to attempt to drive it as well. I don't know how well that's going to go though, because it definitely ain't gonna drive as well as it looks. So look at these cars. Do you know what, RSQ8, that is a bit of me, man. Look at that car. So more Land Rover content. I love a bit of Land Rover. I don't just love Land Rover content. You lot seem to love it as well. And I actually thought today, if I get myself my own car, I think just for the sake of the channel, it'd be cool if it was a Land Rover. And when this came in, I actually thought, I need to take this home, man. This is a proper cool car. But then when you look on the inside, which, you know, I'll show you the inside shortly, it's, <laughs> it's just not as um, nice a place to be inside as it is on the outside. So uh, two things I want to ask you. One, how much do you think this thing's worth? Have a little guess, yeah, feel free to comment below. And two, what was the other thing I want to say? Ah, oh, it's got a private plate on it. The plate does not come with a car. That plate is probably more valuable than the car. What age do you think this car is? Because from the outside, I would say, I know they've got quite an, an old look to them, but I'd say it looks quite modern. I'll tell you how old it is shortly. So uh, the car has apparently at some point in time been resprayed, so it's, it's looking quite tidy. I'm pretty sure it was green before, because if you have a look in the rear, which I'll show you again shortly, let's talk about the outside first, um, you'll see that it's green on the floor pan. It has had a couple of little facelift, up, I think they're facelift upgrades, because they sort of improved them over time. I think these 110, come out in about 1980, 1983, something like that. And they made them right up until, is it 2016? Did they make them for as long as that? I think they did. But they made subtle changes throughout the whole period. And then of course, later on in time, they brought out the, the new Defender, the 2020, which I didn't like, a bit like the new M3 grill. When it first came out, I was like, mm, I don't like that. But now I'm actually, I just said about getting myself my own car, which I talk about all the time, and I will do at some point. I've actually been looking at them because I think they're proper cool. I think what they've done with the, the new Defender is they, they sort of drastically changed the look of it. And I, I always thought that was a bit brave. And I, I just felt like the way that people love the look of these old ones and what they offer and what they're about, I just felt like, I don't know if that was a good idea, but they clearly know what they're doing because they're a massively popular car. So um, this is a TD5, I think. Let's get under, do you know what? Let me show you inside. Should we show them inside, Mark, yeah? It's, yeah? it's horrible, isn't it? It's horrible, but it's what people love about it. It's funny, like, people love to moan about Land Rover as a brand firstly, but then so many people just love them. And also with Defenders, it's like, there's almost an element of pride when you're driving one of these things. Look at it. It's not nice inside. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's cool that it's not nice inside. It's kind of rustic and, I don't know, ready for bloody war. And they, they, they started building them back in war times. In fact, I've done a video on one. I don't know if it was as early as 1920s, but it, it was old and it is definitely the worst car I've ever driven. If you didn't see that video, go and check it out. We had a right laugh in that video. Such a cool video. Go and check that out. I also done a video on a, a later one. I can't remember what year it was, but I remember it was like a, a deep red color. I think it was about a 2012. That was more modern than this car. Yeah, get a little hint of there to how old this car is. And um, yeah, that done really well, that video. So again, going back to the Land Rover subject, it's, a, it's quite important that we do Land Rover content. Manual gearbox, five speed, TD5. That's what I want to see, because I think the TD5 is a five cylinder engine. So in theory, if we can see something indicating that it has five cylinders and we have a TD5 engine under the bonnet. Oh, look at that. See, look, that looks surprisingly modern under there, doesn't it? That looks surprisingly modern. Now, a TD5 engine is supposedly, yeah, I'm not sure how true this is. I'll probably get corrected by some Land Rover fans in the comments below. Supposedly, the most reliable engine that they ever put in a Defender. And Defenders were never really known to be a massively reliable car. I think they're about 122 horsepower five cylinder which is proper cool this car's got a snorkel which is also proper cool it is also as mentioned is a 110 wheelbase so the wheelbase is worth 90 110 and 130 obviously 130 being the longest this is the middle size wheelbase look how good the wheels and tires look on this car like that is such a cool feature like, i had it in my mind but i just didn't mention it what size are they 
what size are they? 265, 75, 16. Big chunky tires on little black wheels. Love that. It's a five seater with a truck back as well. So it's got like a canvas cover on the back there, which looks quite new. I would open it, but I reckon there's probably a dead body or something under there. So we'll leave that, yeah? Um, crystal rear lights, which I mentioned. Crystal headlights, let's go back to the front of my. They're obviously an aftermarket mod, uh, but they look wicked as well. And in fact, I haven't really touched on the fact that it's gray and black, that whole gray and black color theme. I really like that as well. I am strangely looking forward to driving this car. I know it's gonna be awful, but I think that's gonna make the video interesting. I did film a, a Land Rover yesterday. That was the banger of the week. And I did break down in it, all right? Oh, reduced engine perf No way, reduced engine performance. Brilliant for content, but not great for me because I'm busy and I'm a car dealer and I bought that car to earn money on it and I don't think I'm gonna earn money on it. That video will probably go live on Wednesday. This video will probably go live on a Sunday, all right? So make sure you hit subscribe for that, all right? Let's jump in, do the usual stuff. We're gonna do a car vertical check. Ugh. Car vertical check. We're gonna talk about valuations as well. I need to tell you the year of this car as well, because you're probably still guessing that. And we're then going to attempt to drive it. We're not going to do draggy times. One, because I don't really want to. <laughs> uh, but two, my draggy box is packed up, so it's not even an option. All right, let's get on it. Guys, quickly, before we go for a little drive in the Land Rover, got matey doing a bit of polishing in the background, which is cool. On it, getting stuff done. Um, what do I want to tell you about? I want to tell you about CCD, the event 2024. We've done it in 2021, it was amazing. We've done it in 2022 and it was incredible. We've done it last year, 2023, and it was even better. It was a bloody joke. The turnout was unreal last year. And in 2024, we're doing it even bigger. So I know a lot of you have already bought tickets, but I will link the ticket link in the description below for those that haven't yet bought a ticket. It's gonna be an incredible day out. We're doing that Wilton Mill go-kart circuit and I'm gonna be telling you about it on the lead up to the event. It's on Father's Day, which I think is the 16th of June. 2024. We've got so many ideas for the event. We've got loads of um, other influencers, lots of stuff going on, but in a nutshell, treat yourself. Yeah, you need to get on it. It's gonna be an incredible day out. And one more thing, I'm gonna be announcing the winner of the Fanatec stuff this week on Planet of Dreams. If you're into Fanatec gaming gear, check out the website. You'll see all the stuff on there, steering wheels, all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, you can go and enter it for free, providing you're a subscriber to the channel, right? Get on it, good luck. Let's get back in the Land Rover. I think robust, that was the word I was looking for. Robust, that's what they, they just feel very robust. Let me just put the seat back a bit. Okay. Oh, it doesn't actually go back. How annoying is that? This is as far back as, that'll be all right. That'll be all right, makes it all more interesting. Um, I did mention the, I did mention the green floor, but I didn't continue to mention it. So you can see more so in the rear that it's got um, the green floor, which is, I don't know why I'm mentioning that, but I am. But it look, definitely looks better in grey than it does in green. Metal. <laughs> metal roof. I suppose every car's got a metal roof, but this car has got an exposed metal roof. The seats in the back, they are, I mean, they're seats and you can sit on them, but you can see from this shot here that, uh, yeah, if you're my height, I'm over six foot tall, it's a struggle, firstly, getting in, and secondly, even staying in. It's just not... It, there's not much space there at all, but it is handy that it's got the seats. It's also quite handy. It's got a side step, looks good, and it's you know it's convenient jumping in and out with a side step. Something else that's quite interesting about the character of this car, because that's what this car has got stacks of, it's got loads of character, is the windscreen's flat. I know that's like, why would you even mention that? But this is the sort of stuff I love about cars. This is why I became a car trader, because I'm obsessed with all these little details. Look at these heater fan things, man. <laughs> Look at that, that is how you turn the heating up and down and the heater fan up and down. By the way, it's done 113,000 miles. It's got a Pioneer head unit. That obviously wouldn't come in, come in it from factory. What else has it got going for it? What else has it got? The handbrake is random, man. <laughs> Proper random. It's got a keep fit window, which is um, cool. And them door locker things, I recognize them. Are they out of like the old Rovers? They probably are, because it's a Land Rover. They probably are, aren't they? Let's, um, before we hit the road, let's quickly do a car vertical check. What's that vent switch there? Get a little wipers. <laughs> Massive thank you to Car Vertical for sponsoring this video. I will link them in the description below. And they are now kindly, they've in increased my discount from 10% to 20%. So if you do do a car vertical check, make sure you use my code CCD to get 20% off your car check, all right? So here we go. Uh, Land Rover Defender. 
Car Vertical is going to tell you, has it been clocked? Is the mileage all good? It's got a green tick on the mileage. It's also going to tell you if it's got finance outstanding on it. It's got a green tick on the finance. It's also going to tell you, does it have any previous damage or any previous recorded damage? You've got to understand that some cars don't go through insurance and it can only ever pick up a car that's been reported as damaged, but this car has also got a green tick on that. Something else it does as well is it tells you if it's previously been stolen, if it's on the hit list as far as a, a stolen recovered car is concerned, and this car isn't, so it's all green ticks. And I'll show you an example. In fact, before I show you the example, let's just quickly scroll down. Um, yeah, if you scroll down further, you'll see that the mileage is all consistent, which is always, I think that's quite a good way of them sort of displaying the mileage on the car. They just show it as a graph, so you can see visually it's just consistent throughout the whole time. I might have just given away the age of the car then. Should I tell you how old it is now? I think now's the time in the video that I'll tell you how old it is. Let's scroll down to the timeline because that's the best part to show you. Oh, values, look, market value, there you go. Market value according to Car Vertical is 16,273 quid. And um, there's the age of it there. 2001 Land Rover Defender. This car is 22, 23 years old. 23 years old this car is. Did you think it was older or younger than that? I'm curious to know, because I think it looks more modern than that on the outside, and then you get on the inside and it looks a bit, um, quite the opposite, to be honest. But the higher value there is 20,075 quid. The lower value is 13,613 pounds. And if we scroll down to even further now, it says 2.5 litre diesel and blah, blah, blah. It's got the timeline there. January 2001 when it was manufactured and it was registered a couple of months after that and it's got the whole timeline of events throughout its whole life. Look, 1,000 MOT there, shock in 2012. I bet these, um, that's what they're about, isn't it? It's what they're about. Let's now look at Enter Reg. Not really a lot to talk about on Enter Reg because value, trying to find valuations on older cars like this is quite difficult. We use Cap and Auto Trader. They're like the pair of them are probably the market leaders in, value, in the valuation world. Uh, this is it all here. We've put 114,000 miles, 2.5 litre. MOT history there, it's got an MOT until the 28th of September, which is good. But then if you scroll down to the valuations, so Car Vertical got a valuation, but Enerej, us lot, we do not have a valuation. We're talking about Auto Trader and Cap, but Car Vertical have. And do you know what? Car Vertical's valuation is actually quite accurate. So that's also quite interesting, all right? I will link Enterreg in the description below as well. If you're a car dealer and you're not on board with Enterreg, why are you not on board? You need to get on it. It's an amazing platform. It offers you everything. You can do everything for your car dealership within this platform. And it's cheaper than everyone else. It's better than everyone else. And it's built by us. So, you know, by getting on board with it, you're supporting a nice family of people, yeah? <laughs> Let's get it started. Look at the pedals, man. <laughs> Look at the pedals. All right, this is, this is it. Ignition barrel is on the left side of the steering column, not the right side. Interesting. Feature, character. On the button, mate. Starts on the button. Let's get the seat belt on. You need that. Sparco seats, by the way. How have I not mentioned them? Talk about um, addressing the elephant in the room. They are, um, they're different. They look quite, I, think, I always look at these and think they kind of look good pimped up a little bit and if you look on I had a little look on auto trader before I headed out it moves it's got power steering as well by the way um, and they've got a few that handbrake is random that is random got the Planet of Dreams cars there in the Planet of Dreams unit if you're wondering why I'm not filming in there today because um, well like I say I was just this is just completely off the cuff I was photographing this car and it was parked up, it was looking clean, looking fresh. And I just thought, let's just jump in it. Do a video. Completely off the cuff, which is just how we like it on YouTube. There's no way is this breaking down. It feels solid straight away. It feels absolutely solid. A few rattles. <laughs> a lot of rattles. Do you know what? I talk about expectations a lot in videos and I don't just feel consider expectations in with cars. I consider expectations with everything in life. If I go to a restaurant, for example, and I expect it's going to be amazing because everyone says it's amazing. And I walk in there and I'm, my expectations are really, really high of that restaurant. And then I sit down and it's not great. You know, I'm disappointed. I'm not, I'm not disappointed. That's a, I'm usually quite happy. I'm not quite easily pleased when it comes to a lot of things, but expectations are important. And when I got into this car, I thought this is going to drive horrible. This is definitely going to drive horrible, but you know what? It's driving loads better than I thought it would. And considering, or despite the fact that, is the indicators on the left? Yes, they are. 
I um, can't put the seat back far enough. It's actually driving all right. It's urban there. How, what are the chances of that? So we are right next to Urban Automotive. They are known for selling Land Rover Defenders. It would just be, it'd be silly if I didn't pull in there, wouldn't it? Should we turn around and pull in there? Got to, got to pull into, La pull into Urban and uh, just show you their lineup of Defenders, new shaped Defenders. It's unbelievable, actually. That's one of the reasons why I've been considering buying one of them cars, because I drive past their dealership every single day. And I'm like, do you know what? These cars have grown on me massively. So, oh, we'll go there shortly. First, second gear. Oh, there it is. Go up the high street. We'll go up the high street first. Yeah, see if we get any looks. Stony Stratford, Milton Keynes, by the way. It's quite a cool little place. Bit rattly in here. Apologies for the noise. It's turboed as well, by the way. Did I mention that? It's a turbo diesel. So you can hear a little bit of, bit of turbo spool there on it. Love it. Yeah, so far, there ain't a lot of people around, but I'm not getting any looks. I like them Audi RSE trons, by the way. I think they're cool for an electric car, considering they're electric. Oh, there's a one series like car 130i that we bought the other day, but that one looks like it, it's, it's, it's all right. Whereas, yeah, my one isn't. Bit of boost, turbo boost there, felt the power, the whole, 122, that's what it was from factory. There's a Range Rover there, look, new shape, sport. Come on, am I gonna get any look? Surely, this car deserves look. I think it looks wicked. The snorkel, we've not really talked about that. It's got a snorkel. It's a road car with a snorkel. Speed bumps, no problem at all. Four wheel drive, Land Rover, look, he's checking it out. He's looking at it, yeah, he looked away. He didn't look at it. Go on, mate, look at I mean, girls, girls are checking me out, look, in my Land Rover. Obviously, I'm the man in my Defender. You know, no one's even acknowledged it. To me, this thing stands out. This thing stands out. Now, I think what we need to do is, on the subject of things that stand out, um, <laughs> on the subject of things that stand out, we'll, uh, we'll head to Urban and we'll just pull in there and on camera just admire the lineup of cars on the front of their forecourt yeah let's do it now here we go urban automotive they're gonna think what the hell is this absolute time way to just pulling in looking at our cars and driving off doing we might bump into someone you never know look at these cars do you know what? rsq8 that is a bit of me man look at that car and then on the left you've got the runner defenders so they're short wheelbase 90s and they've got any longer wheelbase they seem to be all short wheelbase don't they 65 grand plus VAT. They're all sort of 65, 70 grand. Look how good they look. So that's a 110, I'm guessing it's a 110. Is that a 110? Yeah, 110. Longer wheelbase. Just looks so cool, don't they? What a lineup of cars. All right, mate, he's probably thinking, what are you doing? He's definitely thinking I've come to do a deal with him, but I'm just a complete time waster. Look at all the urban plates now. This is amazing. Look at them cars. They look so good in black as well, don't they? Am I in reverse? I, I literally looked down for a reverse camera there. There's not a reverse camera in this car, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> They're all staring at me. <laughs> I'm just gonna drive back out. Anyway, um, to the urban lot. I love, love what you're doing, man. It's wicked. And I love them RSQAs. How much is that? 135 grand. There's two of them. 135 each. Yes, I'll have, I'll have two, please. Oh, there's the M4 that I want to buy. He's local as well. I, keep, I see him in Tesco's a few weeks, a few months ago, actually. I said to him, mate, when you come selling that car, give me a shout. So anyway, the boost, you, oh, you can't feel the boost. You're, in a, you're sitting in your front room or wherever you are, but it actually boosts. It feels quite good. Let's head back to Binger now. This is my favorite purchase of the week. In fact, I haven't even bought this car. I'm selling it on behalf of a customer because um, when he dropped it down, I said, do you want me to just buy it off you? Do you want me to sell it for you? He said, Cal, just sell it for me. And when it's sold, send me the money. So we're going to advertise it for him on his behalf for in the region of 20,000 pounds because that's what his value is. And once the sale's done, it's, um, yeah, we earn our commission. We pay him off. 
it's just a great way of doing business. I talk about it a lot. If you're starting out in the car trade, funding stock is one of the most difficult things, especially when you're starting out. As you get on in time, obviously you build up money and stuff, but early on in the line, when I started out my car trading business, I literally used to do nothing but sour returns. A bit like an estate agency. All of the estate agencies, the way estate agencies work in general is they sell your house for you. You don't, they don't buy the house off you and then stick it on the market after. So it's one of the challenges with the car trade. Sour returns are great for business and um, it's just a great way of earning money. So yeah, we're going to get it up for sale. Hopefully it gets sold by the time this video goes live. If it's still available, I will link uh, it, the ad in the description below. I'm going to park it back up here so we can get a few more shots of it. Thank you very much for watching. I've enjoyed it, man. I've enjoyed this video. It's been a cool experience, isn't it? Hit like if you like the video. Oh, by the way, I will link our vertical in the description below. Don't forget to do your checks and use my code CCD to get 20% off. And Enter Reg will also be linked in the description below. Calvin's Car Diary and all of my brands and businesses, everything is linked below. And that's it. Done. Hit subscribe as well. Don't forget that. Bloody hit the subscribe button. Subscribe button. See you later.